Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI training, I'm going to be showing you how to set up auto GPT for your own personal use or whether you got a business. It makes things really convenient and helpful to achieve your objectives and accomplish tasks a lot quicker because it works autonomously. It basically poses as the questionnaire and the person who answers the question and it just follows up on that process over and over again until the task is accomplished. So basically, if you don't know already, AutoGPT is an open source application that was created by a game developer named Torin Bruce Richards. And he's basically just leverages OpenAI's API access and their text generation models was basically chat GPT and he actually adds an extra element to it. So it's actually three different components. You had GPT 3.5 and then you have GPT 4, which they work together. And then you have the companion by So they all work together in unison and they follow up on that initial prompt that you give it in the beginning until it eventually accomplishes the task. For an example, you can say, hey, help me grow my flower business and auto GPT will give you a really realistic marketing strategy and create a basic website for you and then follow up on every Everything that you need to do in order to optimize that website and create accounts and do everything so so what makes auto GPT really competent is its ability to interact with different softwares both locally online and offline such as word processors and web browsers so it's able to accomplish your task and so it's able to navigate through the internet and just really help you out a lot it's like the perfect assistant so I'm going to show you how to set this up in this video so the first thing we need to do is not to be confused with chat GPT plus which is like $20 a month so we need to go to this website here platform openai.com so that you're able to get API access and this is really important for later on in the video once we set up Visual Studio as well as Python and Git so I'm going to show you how to download and install auto GPT as well as set everything together but once we have that all set up we're going to need the API secret key and in order to do that you have to come here and put in your bank details now it is pay as you go so you can set different limits so me personally, I have it about $35 to $40 a month, but you can change it as you go along. But just to make sure you're not breaking the bank or taking food off the table, you can set those limits. So just make sure you have this set up. Once you go to this website and you have your account and you're able to get access and you put your bank details in. So what we need to do now is we need to install Python. It's really simple to do. All you have to do is just click on this button here. And once this saves, you just open it up and what you need to do is you need to install it as a .exe to path and it should give you a checkbox for you to tick and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. All you have to do is just click on open file and then once that opens up you'll see it right here add python.exe to path and you can go ahead and keep this ticked as well where it says use admin privileges when installing py.exe. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then you just click on install now after that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so once that's done, as you can see here, it says setup was successful. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. So we can just go ahead and click on close with this. Now that we have that installed, we can go over to Git and we're going to be downloading this. Now, since I'm on a Windows, I'm going to go ahead and select the 64 bit and just click on that. And we're just going to go ahead and run the .exe as soon as it's saved to our computer. So I'm just going to click on this and just have it saved for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on open. So all we do from here is really simple. You just click next on everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, 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 next. Just go ahead and click on next until we get all the way to the end. And then click on install. All right, so once that's finished, we'll just click on finish. And then our next step is to go to auto GPT. We can exit out of this unless you want to read the release notes and introduction. But we're just going to go to auto GPT. You'll see this in the description from GitHub. Once you get to this page here, this is the stable release. All you got to do is just scroll all the way to the bottom here. We're looking for the source code in a zip file. So just click on that and then let that go to your desktop. And the easiest way is just to open it. And then if you have a zip file, whether it be WinWar or 7-Zip or WinZip, you can just use those and then just extract it directly to your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open this here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this to my desktop like so. I'm going to go ahead and just copy it to my desktop. And once you have that installed, you extract it to your desktop. You'll see all of the files in here like so. And once you see this, that means you got everything right. All right, so our next step now is to go to... In the description, you'll see where it says Visual Studio, and you just want to download this one, the stable build, so that we can go ahead and start working with AutoGPT. We're going to be using this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download from here, and this page will come up. As soon as it's downloaded, go ahead and open it. You can choose a desktop icon if you like. You can pin it to your taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. I accept the agreement. Click on next, 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 and then you can create a desktop icon if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and click on next, install, 
So once you got it launched, Visual Studio should open up like this and you can go through the introduction and whatnot, choose your themes. All you gotta do from here is go to the top where it says file, open that and then click on open folder and then choose auto GPT. So I saved it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and then click on select folder and then it should open right up. So it's gonna ask you if you trust the authors of the files of your folder, and it is my folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and click trust the authors of all the files in the parent folder, Jonathan Coates, and then yes, I trust the author. So it's gonna ask me if I want to install the recommended dev containers extension from Microsoft for this repository. I'm gonna say yes. So I'm gonna click on install and just let that happen in the background. So I'm gonna go back to where we started here, and then I'm gonna scroll down to where it says env.template, click on that. And once you click on this, you wanna scroll down to where it says your open AI key, it'll be in red here. Sometimes it's on a different line than, than other times. So just check, it might not be on 46 for yours. It could be on 71, it could be on 58, but for mine it's on 46. And then this is where you just circle back full circle here and you go to open AI and you click on API and you get your secret key. So in my case, I'm just gonna click up here where my picture is and go to where it says view API keys and this is where you actually get your key now if you don't have one already obviously this is where you create one you just click on where it says create a new key and then you just want to create one once you're done creating it you just take that key and you want to keep this completely safe so i already have one in here so in order to delete it i have to generate a new one so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new secret key and you can really call it whatever you want i'm just going to call this auto gpt test mri create secret key and now that you have your secret key generated you go ahead and click on copy done and you want to take that and go back to visual studio and paste that right in here where it says open ai key leaving no space after the equal so just control v and there we have it and once you've done that what you want to do now is just go to where it says env.template and just rename it to just env and then after that what we're going to be doing is just saving it so i'm just going to take the template out of here and just keep it as dot env click enter like so and then we go up to here where it says file and then just click on save so now that we got that all taken care of, what we need to do now is just go down to where it says run.bat and then we're going to right click on that and then go to where it says reveal and file explorer. So just go ahead and do that. And then all the way at the bottom here where it says run, you just go ahead and click on that. It should open up a command box for you. So if you don't have the proper packages, it's going to go ahead and install it for you. It's not going to take that long, but as soon as everything is set up properly, auto GPT will be fully operational and you just give it a prompt and it's going to go through that process that I described to you in the beginning of this video. You just give it an objective and it's going to pose as both the questioner and the answer. So it's going to follow up on itself and it's going to have a companion bot that accompanies it to help it accomplish that goal. So it also interacts really well with software, web browsers. So it's able to achieve just about anything you do. And it's almost like this, the perfect assistant. So I just want to share this process with you. If you don't have all the proper packages, it's just going to go ahead and install them for you, as you can see, like so. And then once this process is done all the way at the bottom of the command box, you'll see where it says, I want auto G gpt2 and there'll be like a colon and then you just put whatever it is that you want so as you can see here it's installing the necessary packages that it needs once this is finished you're ready to go all right so that's how you set up auto gpt i hope you enjoyed this training i'm going to have a lot more when it comes to artificial intelligence trainings like this in the future so be sure to subscribe and take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything that i included in this video as well as all of the different websites that we visited and be sure to go over to my website if you're looking for different ways to generate more traffic and sales. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you then.